Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another post-match thoughts. Now today we are reacting to Coventry's goalless draw with Watford Football Club. And at the start of the game, maybe a draw against Watford isn't a bad result, but you're feeling a bit negative after that. Yeah, I mean, on, on paper, a draw against Watford, you know, having just come down from the Premier League and being at the top end of the table, you know, on paper isn't a bad result. No. But, the, you know, going off today's performance, Watford looked poor. I think the majority of their chances that they had were just from our mistakes. And I feel that we had the much better opportunities to score. We was all over them the first half. Um, the second half was a bit more even, but again, I think we probably just edged it. And yeah, we, we should have scored at least you know one or two goals today. Yeah, I, I agree. I think uh, definitely the first half, Coventry looked very positive going forwards. The problem is we just don't have any strikers, do we? I mean, yeah. we were creating chances, but we put everything straight at the goalkeeper. Then well, that's one thing that I was a bit more, um, uh, I was a bit more pleased about the fact that we was actually shooting today. Yeah. Uh, in the previous two games, we've kind of got into good positions, but had no end product. But the fact they're actually shooting today is a step in the right direction. I feel. Um, you know, like you said, they have all been down the keeper's throat for the for the most part. If we can just kind of put them in the corners, then we would have scored a few today. But it's good to see that we are actually, you know, hitting the target now, at least yeah. for once. No, I'd agree. I don't think we set out to get a nil-nil draw today. No. Uh, we obviously came out trying to fire, but I think came when it came to half time and about 60 minutes in, I just kind of realised that we didn't look like scoring. So in the end, I kind of settled for the nil-nil. Mm. Um, it really shows though that we need Walker and Godden back because. Although we like Biamu and we like O'Hare, they're not going to score enough goals to, to keep us ticking over for now, are they? No, no, definitely not. What do you think about the fact that Robin seems so sort of hesitant to make changes though? That was something in, until that literally me. like the last five or ten minutes. Yeah, I don't usually moan about Robins because I think he's a great manager. Um, but I do think he made his changes very late today. Wait until the 85th minute to bring on, you know, um, it's both al it's almost, and Giorgis. It's almost as if he's waiting for Watford to do something first, like wait for them to either score or wait for them to bring on their changes before we make a change ourselves. I think that, you know, at like 60, 65 minutes, you could see that um, the likes of Biamu and... Um, Jamie Allen were tiring. I think that's when we should have made the changes. I feel that we waited until the you know 85th minute, then brought off our two best players in Hamer and O'Hare. It really didn't make sense why why that happened. But then again, I'm not a manager. I'm sure Robbins knows his stuff. Um, so who am I to say? Yeah. Uh, but there you go, guys. It finished goalless. Obviously, Coventry and Watford probably both wanted to win, but in the end, both having to settle for a draw. Uh, Coventry City's next game is away to Cardiff City who are also pretty much in this relegation battle so that will be a big game. Um, but must win. Yeah it is a must win but for now we just have to watch the other results and hope they go our way. It's finished here. Coventry now, Watford now and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. See you guys.